I'm Ray Davis. Uh, I'm with Epic Games, and uh, you know we're best known for Unreal Engine 4. Can you explain what the Bullet Train demo is all about? Yeah, Bullet Train is our latest uh, highly dynamic uh, VR uh, demo, really showing off the uh, new Oculus Touch controllers. Right, um, you're able to. Uh, grab weapons, throw, grab bullets out of the air, slow-mo, throw them back. It, it just really, we're focusing on giving you a lot of hand interaction mechanics that you can layer together and put you in a fun little environment and have, a, have, have some crazy combat. Uh, yeah. where, where did the idea for teleporting come from? <laughs> uh, you know, locomotion in VR has always been one of those obvious challenges that we're going to have to figure out, especially with games, because games are all about moving through these environments. Um, I know quite a few people have been experimenting with teleportation, you know, and some people talk about blink mechanics and whatnot. So I think it's one of those where like, you know, we don't know if this really works. Why don't we give it a shot? And actually, you know, it works surprisingly well. Um, you can't just teleport around and assume it'll be perfect. You gotta, there's some things you gotta be mindful of, but it does, uh, it does give some promise of, uh, you know, we're gonna be able to have some really interesting uh, VR experiences where you can move around in these worlds. How does the teleporting impact the gameplay experience? Uh, teleporting in Bullet Train, I think it definitely ratchets up the intensity, you know, because you're just like, I want to go over there, grab that thing, and immediately, you know, you, versus having to like vault over some things or mantle or whatever the case may be. Um, I think it is uh, it is interesting of just keeping the pace up faster overall, you know, um, and it's also there's it kind of forces on the design level to to have some clever tricks of like. Whenever you teleport, let's make sure you're always facing where the center of the action is, right? So you're never like, oh god, where am I? Where did all the fun stuff go, you know? Um, just keep you right in the middle of it. What do you see Oculus Touch opening up for gameplay experiences moving forward? Uh, I'm a big fan of Oculus Touch and just what hand presence, especially at the level of fidelity that we've been able to see now. Um, I think, you know, it, the first time anybody puts a VR headset on, inevitably they try to reach out to touch this virtual world, and now we actually have the next version of that. Um, and it's hard to articulate the, the type of experience you really get, but when all the, the pieces are in place and you feel like that is a real solid object in your hand, you know, um, that's really, really powerful. And it's gonna, it's really gonna open the doors for interactions, you know, we're not tied to a mouse and keyboard or controller, now it's like these hands, I know how to use these hands, you know. Awesome. Um, how easy is it for developers to take game concepts from the PC or console to to VR, like Oculus Rift, Gear VR, or PlayStation VR? Yeah. Um, you know, at its core, making a VR game is not entirely that different. I mean, there's a huge amount of overlap of how you make a game for any other platform, um, even mobile for that, that matter. Um, but I think it really would caution developers to really embrace, like, what is unique about VR that allows me to actually um, build something I couldn't build before? Um, I don't know if you remember like when the smartphone gaming started to really take off, there were a lot of people that just tried to take this mouse and keyboard game and cram it onto a little touch screen, and we had like virtual D-pads and stuff like that, and it was really janky. But once the designers actually really started to think, oh, this new thing, I can do different things now, then some really interesting games started out. I think you're gonna see the same thing with VR over time. Um. <clears throat> How are you seeing Unreal Engine 4 developers innovate with the tech in VR today with Oculus Rift and Gear VR? Uh, I, it's, it's awesome, especially at this show, I've been able to see so many new developers in their projects that they've been using uh, UE4 to build you know, their vision in VR um, from you know, some of the, obviously we heard about Medium today from Oculus, which that artistic creation is just fascinating to me. I saw another one that was very, sort of more procedural based art creation thing and it was just so cool to see these things um, that aren't necessarily what you would expect you know especially with we're, our history of game development um, but I think it's it's the diversity that's the great thing about VR too is it's bringing people from all over you know from film from games from architecture to you name it um, everybody's interested in VR because it's it's the new platform it's a new way to make things that you know we couldn't do before all right uh ties in the last thing actually so we're in Hollywood what opportunities is Unreal and VR opening up for entertainment companies uh, yeah Unreal Engine is is an interesting fit for for the film audience uh, or the film industry uh, back at GDC we actually were able to partner with what is digital to bring a piece of the Hobbit we brought smog into VR and that was just an awesome experience of like taking this amazing asset they built for those films and being able to bring you and put you in the room with this dragon, you know, and, and really leverage that fact that there's presence in VR, right? And now I can have presence with a dragon that clearly does not exist, you know? Um, and I think 
there's this awesome convergence, you know, through VR, but also where we are in the level of rendering. You know, we're approaching photorealism in real time. We recently unveiled Boy and His Kite, and it's just this massive world. And, you know, trying to really inspired by that Pixar, Pixar level of quality. Um, and obviously, you can see how the film industry is like, oh, wow, this is awesome. I didn't even know this was possible yet. Um, and I think it's an interesting fit, too, because VR, you really need a lot more tools to build these experiences. And I think a lot of people, when they try to tell stories, you can't just have a passive viewing experience in VR. I mean, obviously you can, but that's not really the real magic of the platform. Um, so they're going to need things like physics simulation and AI to some extent and all these other tools. Um, then that's where Unreal Engine is, is, brings that to the table. What excites you about where VR is headed? Hmm. <laughs> uh, VR, VR, VR. Um, VR is exciting from, I think, a multitude of angles of, you know, the next five years is, especially over the next year when we actually, people can go out and buy a headset and then get their hands on it. Um, and it's just going to be a lot of magical seeing people have their first VR experience, you know, over and over again. Uh, I really look forward to that. And more importantly, uh, now that there's going to be so many more creative developers able to get in there, right? It's been a bit constrained for the last couple of years. So we're going to see, I think, a huge influx of new ideas. And that's just going to be really exciting to watch.